Welcome back YouTubers to the eighth video in our video series on building a chess engine from scratch in the Java programming language. I hope this is going to be a short video because we're going to see that almost everything that we learned and applied in the last video is going to be applicable to this one. Before I dive in and talk about uh, the legal move calculation uh, algorithm for a rook, um, I want to do some minor cleanup to the bishop. So here, I didn't make the improvement to use the static import, just to be consistent. And here I needed to declare that variable to be final. And nothing else that I see right now. Um, Maybe we'll be able to come back to it. Oh, there's a minor spacing issue there. Okay, great. Um, so let's go ahead and create a new Java class. And this is going to be uh, the Rook. And it's a class. And we're going to say extends piece. And we're going to implement the methods. Constructor matching super. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to right click and do split vertically. And I want to look at the rook compared to the knight. And <clears throat> I think what's going to be really cool here is that you'll see that a lot of things are the same here. So, um, right so let's just go ahead and copy everything okay let's squeeze this in so you guys can see what's going on let's see what we need to change the first thing we need to change is the rook is a slider piece just like the bishop but the vectors are different so let's look up for a rook here i've taken the liberty to open up a browser page for the um, rook in a chess game. And here we go, we have a rook again on d4. Uh, and, um, right, so we want to see what tile coordinate that corresponds to. We know how to do that. We start here from 0, we add 8, again 8, again 8, 8. So that would be 0 to 8, 8 to 16, 16 to 24, 24 to 32. 33, 34, 35, there's our rook. And we can quickly see that the candidates are minus one in the minus one direction, in the positive one direction, in the positive, uh, excuse me, in the negative eight direction, right? Minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Minus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So in the negative eight direction and in the positive eight direction. So all we need to do is capture that here. Minus eight, minus one, one and eight. Right, now that we have that, right, uh, so we just, all we need to do is look at our, the exclusions. So <clears throat> all we need to do now is figure out what the exclusions are. I would encourage you to pause the video at this moment and try to figure it out by yourself. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and uh, sort of uh, tell you what that is. There's really only one exclusion, and that's if you're on the first column. I guess you could break it out into two methods. There's a first column exclusion and an eighth column exclusion. The first column exclusion is if you uh, notice that the minus one rule doesn't work. If I had a rook on a4 and I applied the minus one rule, we would land on, up over here, right, on h5, which is not a legal move for a rook that's on a4, right? A rook's legal moves really are just sort of in, in the forward moving direction um, or in the sideways moving direction. So, um, and if I'm on the eighth, column, right, then the exclusion is to the positive one rule, right? So now if I'm on the eighth column, the minus one rule works, but the positive one rule will take us down here. That's not a legal move. 
all we've got to do is update this method. So if I'm on the first column and the candidate offset is minus 1, right? Or if I'm on the eighth column and the candidate offset is 1. Oops. And that is it. So let's close these other two classes out and view this in its totality, right? So this is very, very similar to the algorithm that calculate the legal moves for a bishop. And um, yeah, this, that's it. This, you're, we're, looking at, uh, we're looking at this in its finished state. So um, now we have, let's summarize what we've done so far, right? We've, uh, we've showed you how to calculate the legal moves for a knight a bishop and a rook. Um, the next piece that I'm going to look at in, uh, the, in the next video, we're going to look at how to do a queen, which really is just a slider piece that is um, the union of the legal moves of a uh, bishop and a rook for a given tile. Okay, thank you.